What's going on squad here Kyle Tilly, your Sunshine the Athletic Gamer and in this video I'm bringing you a nuclear gameplay that is right baby so in my previous video I was like 26 and 0 ended up dying and it was just it was just devastating that I died and I'm bringing you an actual nuclear in today's video and I am just so excited for you to find out what my KD was at the end of this thing so make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and while the gameplay is going on I'm gonna talk about how you can get a nuclear for yourselves hopefully help you out a little bit and uh, yeah so make sure to leave that thumbs up for me help your boy out and let's get right into this gameplay Alright guys, so we're hopping right into this gameplay. Let me start by telling you what I was using. As you can see on the screen, I had on the Pharaoh, and I didn't have on any attachments actually because I was going for a camo challenge, and then I don't think I had enough time to set up a, like, class with perks, so I was only using the awareness fast hands and I think I, I had on anti up so I didn't even use my full like pick 10 and it was pretty insane and then I actually just realized that I'm gonna have to talk for about nine minutes straight so this is gonna be a very intense commentary but let me uh, move over to my kill streaks because this is very crucial to the end result of this gameplay so as you can see on screen I was using the Talon the Wraith and Raps the Talon this is probably one of the like I, I don't know what word to use for this kill streak but it is amazing like it's almost like a guardian angel it sits over your shoulder and it just protects you in your time of need it, it came in clutch so many times in this gameplay there's been like so many situations where I had this thing up and someone like kinda snuck up from behind and the talent picked them up for me it was just so helpful and I don't think this nuclear would have been possible if I didn't have on this this score streak here so definitely equip the talent man this is my favorite kill streak setup I've told you guys this so many times uh, this is the the kill streak setup that I use when I won 70 and 2 and there's so many more gameplays where I was like 65 and 6 and I told I told you guys this before this is the best kill streak setup all right, but enough about the score streaks. I'm sorry for going on a little bit of a rant. I just picked up this KN44. I'm going to end up using this for the rest of the game. I ran out of bullets in my Pharaoh. So this is actually my favorite AR. So I'm glad that uh, I picked this bad boy up. My Wraith is going absolutely off. And let me give you some tips on how to get a nuclear for yourselves. So I think that the best way to get one is to not think about it. There's been so many times where I've tried to get a nuclear and I went like 26 and 0 like my previous video and I was really thinking about it so hard and I ended up dying and it was just the worst feeling ever and you get like all sweaty like my palms are sweating and I, I just can't focus anymore. I'm getting nervous, my heart's racing and it's just not a good look if you're trying to get a nuclear. In this gameplay here, I was so calm. I wasn't thinking about getting a nuclear. I wasn't thinking about going on a crazy kill streak. The only thing I was actually worried about was getting my score streaks. I, that's what, I was working to get my score streaks and it just happened that I got them over and over again and it just it just it just worked out. I'm reading a book right now called Finding Flow and it's really interesting because it talks about basically just being in the zone. Now, you've probably heard athletes so many times say, "Oh, I'm in the zone," you know, and it's like they're playing so well and they're doing it with little to no effort. And that's what I think I was doing in this gameplay here is just being involved in what they call flow and it is pretty awesome like I I wasn't thinking about getting that nuclear I wasn't thinking about anything but playing this this game Call of Duty and just having a good time and it, it worked out and I think that's the best way to play is to just enjoy the game have fun and just let everything happen naturally so that's number one just having the right mindset when you're in a Call of Duty match and then when you're in one be strategical about how you position yourself on the map if you want to use the map to your advantage you want to make sure that you're constantly in a position where you have some type of cover or you could fall back a little bit where you can have your teammates pick up some of the enemies and then kind of regather your thoughts regroup and then go back at it so like you'll see a lot of times where I'm I'm by my teammates but I'm not like right now uh, I have my score streaks that are kind of keeping me cover and I'm in a position where I can fall back and have my teammates help me out if I need to. 
I got hit by someone right there. I'm not sure where that guy was at, so I'm just kind of laying down, waiting to see what happens. Um, and then I know that my teammates are behind me, so the enemy team has to be spawning in front of me. So that's where uh, I am right now on the minimap. That's how I position myself, and I'm in a spot where I constantly am able to have the upper hand on my opponents. So. In order to get that upper hand, you want to make sure that you're constantly undercover. So I'll have, like right now, I, I'm not head glitching so much. I mean, I guess you kind of consider that a head glitch, but I'm undercover. I'm not uh, in a place where I'm my full body is exposed. And I think that's really crucial to winning gunfights and just staying alive is having cover. And then you want to make sure that you're aiming around corners. See, I'm not really rushing in just with no strategy. I'm making sure that I, I'm aware of my surroundings, I'm aware of my teammates and where my enemies could potentially be coming from and I'm aiming in those spots. So that just comes with map awareness and playing the game that comes with practice that's a big thing too in order to really be good at something you have to have repetition you have to do something over and over and over again and that's going to allow you to develop muscle memory you're going to gain better awareness and overall become a better player so practice 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 that is probably uh one of the biggest things is having that repetition that also ties into not thinking about it because once you've done something so many times you you get into that flow you get into that mode where you're not thinking about it anymore you're just reacting and just playing off of instinct and that just ties into what I was talking about earlier about just not thinking about what you're doing a lot of these thoughts and ideas and just my overall philosophy on how to play and just how to act comes from my background in athletics uh, coming from football and wrestling just having the ability to control the tempo of the match of the game and that's basically just what I'm telling you right now and uh, just my philosophy or like my my mentality on doing things but we are getting close to this nuclear I'm so excited for you guys to see what my KD is cuz I don't know if you guys noticed but I haven't died yet so this is insane bro now I I just want to give like a, a quick overview of what I talked about so the the very first thing was to just stay calm and to not overthink what you're doing uh, if you overthink it you're like I told you you're gonna have like sweaty palms you're gonna be your, your fingers are gonna be slipping off the thumbsticks your heart's gonna be racing and you're just not gonna be able to 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 really play to your best ability and then you want to play strategical and slightly defensive making sure you're in good position at all times meaning aiming down sights peeking around corners not rushing in always having something to fall back on as in your teammates or your streaks making sure you're constantly behind cover like I am right now and Constantly practicing these techniques like I said repetition that is what's going to get you that muscle memory That's what's going to help you gain that awareness. That's what's going to overall improve your performance in this game So practice guys, this is the nuclear kill right here I'm gonna get my emblem I'm gonna get my medals and then I'm gonna go on to get a couple more Unstoppable kills and then that's the end of this gameplay. So I really hope you enjoyed it guys I hope this helps you and I hope you guys get a nuclear for yourselves and get to experience the amazing Feeling and accomplishment of doing so so leave a like on this gameplay and subscribe for more videos like this in the future Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and YouTube. I'll see you next time